The gentlewoman reserves, the gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I yield uh, myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman uh, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Over two years ago, committee Republicans opened an investigation into veterans' record request backlog at the National Personnel Records Center. Pennsylvania's veterans and their families were frustrated and concerned with the lengthy delays they were experiencing as they tried to access their own documents outlining military service. American veterans and families rely on these records to prove eligibility for medical care and the benefits they are entitled to. What we found was deeply disturbing. The records at the NPRC are on paper. They cannot be accessed remotely. When the NPRC shut down in-person operations and told its workforce to go home, the backlog piled up to more than 500,000 military service record requests. Veterans put their lives on the line for our country. The least we can do for them is to ensure they have access to the care and benefits they've earned. Based on our findings, we urge the chairwoman to hold hearings. We press the NPRC to get staff back to work in person. But under the current administration, the backlog has grown to over 600,000 pending requests, with more added daily. That is why in June of last year, I introduced the Records Act to require the NPRC to get back to work in person. Finally, after significant pressure from congressional Republicans, the NPRC returned to full in-person staffing on March 7th of this year. I am pleased that this legislation has finally reached the House floor. The Access to Veterans Records Act incorporates improvements Republicans made to ensure the backlog is fixed. This bipartisan legislation requires the NPRC to maintain in-person staffing levels. The bill also authorizes funds necessary to speed up the digital preservation of records so we will not face this problem in the future. And finally, the bill contains reporting requirements to ensure proper accountability for addressing the current backlog and preventing future issues. The Access for Veterans to Records Act is a bipartisan bill that demonstrates how Congress can work together to advance legislative reforms that are truly responsive to the needs of the American people and those who have given so much for our country. I urge my colleagues to support this bill and I reserve the balance of my time.